Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all of our first-time visitors. Make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. This week, Saints, is a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday, noonday prayer. If you're available on your lunch break, stop by and stand in agreement with the Saints in praying for the world, the United States, Louisiana, and the church. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. If you missed last Bible study, you can download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Search for PCC Lafayette. A school of Prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Be with us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. This is where many of us learn how to pray to the Father out loud and how to come boldly before His throne of grace. See you there. After school of Prayer is the fire ministry at 7 p.m. The Free Indeed Recovery Experience will be having the second part of their series, Defeating Fear with a Sound Mind. Reignite the fire on Thursdays after the School of Prayer here at Philadelphia. The HFL Hebrew flag football games are on Friday nights for the men's teams at Moore Park, 250 Correct Drive in Lafayette off of University beginning at 6.30 p.m. The kids and women's games will be held on Sunday evenings starting at 4 p.m. for the kids and 5 p.m. for the women. Also, Saints, come out and join us for the second annual HFL Philadelphia Christian Church Tailgate Sunday, November 17th at Moore Park. Food, family, and fun. Cooking may begin right after service. The HFL first playoff games kicks off at 3 p.m. See you there. Calling all the men of God, you are invited to attend the Men's Fellowship for Fathers and Sons, Uncles and Nephews, Friends and Neighbors Men's Camp Out. Come and enjoy good Christian company. Bring your tents, lounge chairs, and cookware to prepare a meal for yourself or some to share. It'll all be held at Brother Donald Harvey's residence on Friday, November 15th from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. Saturday morning. The address is 1091 Lena Drive, Arnoldville. For more information, please call Brother Donald Harvey at 331-7404. That's 331-7404. Proverbs 27, 17 says, Iron sharpened iron, so a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. See you there. Let's take a moment and check out our next Philly testimonies. So I have the question of the day for y'all. And the question of the day is, who invited you to Philadelphia? Well, to get straight to it, Miss Michelle Mouton invited us and plenty more. But the funny thing is, the way it happened was, me and Kim had met. And uh, she went and spent time to her aunt's house, because that's her aunt, Miss Michelle. And uh, we were just spending time over there during the summer. I was just getting to know Kim a little bit more. And you know Miss Michelle, she don't really care. She's like, hey, so what church you go to? <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, I don't go to church. You know, I go to Queen of Peace, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. And so it's just the way it happened. She never stopped. She kept inviting me. And one day I said, you know what, I'm going to be a good person. All right? Mm-hmm. And then I say, well, I say, babe, let's go check it out. And so we went. And pastor was going off, man, and, uh, and I ain't never really heard it like that before. And that grabbed my attention, and I said, I know deep down in my heart I needed more of that. And so Miss Michelle really brought us and invited us. I got you. So I have one more question for y'all before I let y'all go. When y'all first came to Philadelphia and sat down uh, in person and was able to hear pastor up close, what was that uh, experience like for both of y'all? Well, for both of us, I, I just ain't never really been in a church uh, that really preaches the word and just pastor. I ain't never been under that before. Like, you know, I didn't grew up in Catholic church, you know, but it's like the word was, was he was speaking exactly to me. I never heard it broke down like that before. I ain't never knew that God required all of that of me. You know what I'm saying? I was just living life. We were just living life just thinking, hey, we just gotta be good people. And, uh, and so just to hear the word, man, it really had brought an impact in my life. And I just felt like I needed to do something. I needed more. And, uh, and that's basically how it happened for both of us. You know, we both started at the same time. And uh, it all started off with Miss Michelle inviting us, man. And ever since, 11 years later, we here. And so much happened in between, you know. And, um, 
And so I give God all the glory for that, man. That's what's up, Miss. Give me your experience. Um, for me, it was more so realizing that Christ knows me. Um, I think it was we came and Pastor asked my name, and then the next time we came back, he remembered it. But mm -hmm. the Lord showed me in that was like, I know, I know you, and I'm calling you home. And so for me, it was more of like reading the Bible, not understanding what it was, but then hearing the word, and it almost felt like a children's book that was being read to me. Like understanding word for word, mm -hmm. um, getting revelations, and just really having the, the understanding that I needed. Mm -hmm. And hearing his voice for the first time, it was just amazing. That's what's up, Philly. There y'all have. Oh, and Pastor, don't worry. I found them red shoes Brian had when he first came in. Yeah. And we're going to brine some things and hang them up somewhere. I don't know where we're going to hang them up, but we're going to hang them up somewhere. Look, look. Walking in the blood. <laughs> All day, baby. What's up, Philly? I'm standing next to Deacon Hill and his wife, Miss Renee. Listen, I like that jacket, man. I can have that jacket. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Uh, try to see if I can get you one this size or something, but uh, no. Oh, because the Lord says it's better to give than receive. Yeah, three other brothers asked me to give it to them already, so uh, you're a little late. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I tried, Philly. I tried. I like that jacket for real, though. I can do some things with that. But listen, I have the question of the day for y'all. And the question of the day for y'all is, who invited y'all to Philadelphia? Okay, well, I came first to Philly. And it, I wasn't invited. What it was, I was going to a church across the street from Pine. And I just wasn't getting the meat I need. And uh, so I'd heard about Philly. And after a couple of weeks, I kept seeing all the vehicles. So I decided to walk through one day. And when I came through uh, and said in the word, I knew it was the right place. You know, the Bible said you will know the truth when you hear it. And the truth will set you free. So it was good. I went home and told my wife about it. Uh, but she wasn't anxious to come, you know. But I knew if I kept coming, uh, after a few times, she'd want to see why you keep going over that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who you seeing or what's going you. on, you know? You. So I didn't want to go home and say, hey, you know, the preacher said this, the preacher said that, you got to do this, you got to do that. I didn't want to do that. Last time I did that, uh, I didn't see her for four days. And uh, after the third day, I began to see a little bit out of my right eye. So I wanted her to come hear the word for herself. I got you. So in other words, you had to watch your back if you came home and said, listen, the pastor said you got to do this, this, and this. Exactly. Yeah. I, I follow you. That's when I didn't see her for a few days, you know. I got you. But I said after that fourth day, I began to see a little bit out of the right eye. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. So listen, I have one more question for y'all before I let y'all go. And that question is, when y'all first came and sat under the word, to hear it up close and personal, what was that experience like? It's like the Lord was sitting right there next to us on the front row, in front of us, behind us. He had us covered at every angle. And uh, it was the meat that we both needed that we could grow together at, uh, on the same pace, to be on one accord, you know. Uh, coming from her background and mine was totally different. So uh, when she heard it for herself, and like I said, I didn't try to coach or anything. We just sat there and let the Lord be the God. And it was just after a matter of time that we were fully engulfed. And we loved it and been here ever since. And Miss Renee, what about you? For me, it was uh, the right timing. It was um, me willing to go, me willing to hear what this pastor, which is my pastor now, had to say. Um, it was like a step-by-step -step manual of how to live for God, a step-by-step -step manual how to make your marriage work. Um, it, it was right on time. It was right on time. And I, anyone who visit for the first time and who's willing to hear the word, put everything on the side, I promise you, you would not be straight away. God is on the move of some breakthroughs and Philadelphia Christian Church is where you'll see the breakthrough. I got you. Enough said. I don't even have to say anything after that. Y'all be blessed. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week.
The annual NOLA Gospel Awards 2020 is coming up, and True Vision would like you to vote for him for Gospel Rap Artist of the Year. Visit www.nolagospelawards.com and cast your vote. Voting is open until November 16th. Congratulations to DeAndrea Frank for completing her MBA. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When the enemy says no, Yahweh says yes. No matter how it looks, keep pushing for his glory. Brandy would like to wish her husband, Mark, a happy 32nd birthday on today, November 3rd. Happy birthday. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. You must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time.